Hello everyone, this is the Rode NT-USB Plus <laughs> voice microphone for recording your voice into the computer, especially great for voiceover recordings for your videos. Why would you need a USB microphone? When I was younger, I was an audio engineer, I recorded bands and I mixed bands when they were playing live and everything was analog. It was all um, a real microphone, analog microphone and then XLR cable, it went into a mixer. I even have a little uh, analog mixer still there, what is it, a, a channel or something, um, relic from back in the day. Uh, the problem nowadays, everything is digital and we are editing digital and if you want to get your audio signal into your recording software, you need a few things. You need the microphone, the cable, then you need a preamp because the signal from a microphone is extremely low. You have to amp that up. So you need a preamp and usually the preamp is also including already a digital converter, an interface that then is uh, connected via USB to your computer or Firewire, I don't know, Thunderbolt, what, what's, what's there, there. And that's a lot of stuff and this does everything in one. There's the microphone, there's the preamp and the interface is all in there. All that you have is a USB output, USB-C, which you connect to your computer. You don't need a driver. It uh, knows that this is a microphone. You can even have to, there's a, there's a headphone jack, so you can use it as, a, as an audio device too, if you plug your headphone in there, but it already knows this is a microphone to record. So in your recording software, you just select that you want to record with this, select the channel you want to record and press record and that's it. There's no fiddling around, oh my god, is this right, is the cable fine, uh, interface has to be like what and uh, does the driver work with this operating system and I don't know what, they've gotten better but still it's amazing, it's just all you need and done and that's why I bought this because I wanted it extremely simple I connect and it's done nothing else it sounds great I'm very surprised there's some things that you can adjust on the microphone the headphone level and how much of the microphone you hear uh, directly to the headphone but I don't need that I don't need any of this all I need is a quick if I don't need it put it away if I need it I put it here go to my recording software press record come here say whatever I want to uh, want to say and then stop and that's it. It already has automatically this little pop filter on uh, in front of the microphone because when you say p -p -p, <laughs> this can be a bit loud and you hear that you don't want that. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, you can use the Rode Central, uh, Rode Central software. In the Rode Central uh, software, you can uh, select the input level. So if you what you are doing is very loud or too quiet, you can adjust it. You can have a high pass filter, so it will uh, delete every low frequency if you tap the microphone a lot or something. I don't need that. And there was this little thing was included, a little stand that you can put on here and then have it on the table, but it was in the way. And when you do something on the table, you can hear that in a microphone. That's why I have an old microphone stand here and you just fit it on there. You can adjust the, the angle, of course, it's, that's included. Then we have a noise gate in here. This is great for podcast recording. So every time when you stop uh, talking it will cut off the sound completely and so when there's fan noise or anything in the background it will cut that away. A compressor this will uh, put the high, highest uh, your loudest parts to your uh, uh, quietest parts together so they're more similar in volume than an exciter that, that gets the highs a bit more prominent and a big bottom that makes the, the bass a bit better. Um, I tested all of those things and the best sounding is everything off. <laughs> if you have the big bottom on, it sounds a lot like, you know, in the cinema, this, this tune, he comes back and stuff like this. Oral exciter is way too high. Compressor is not needed. I have a comp uh, you can use it and it sounds okay, but I have a compressor on my uh, track in my video recording software, so I don't need the double compression. Noise gate, like I said, I, it's quiet in here. I don't need it. And the high pass filter, again, I'm not doing anything uh, on the 
the stand here, it's all disconnected from me. But let's listen what it sounds like when we turn all of those things on. Hello everyone, this is a little test with the Rode NT-USB Plus. What does it sound like? Hello everyone, this is a little test with the Rode NT-USB Plus. What does it sound like? And I'm gonna go into the software now. I'm gonna be a bit away so it doesn't sound that great. And uh, if I turn on the high pass filter and save it to the microphone, out of difference because I'm not doing anything with a low frequency. So in 75 hertz or 150, I let off. But I can turn on the noise gate. And if I get and I'm quiet and talk a little quieter and then if I turn it off that's a maybe the fan of the computer here cannot be heard then we turn on the every time you save something you get a little cracking sound so you do that before but this is just a test um, now the compressor is on and do I really need this is this important turn the compressor off saved and then we have the oral exciter. Oral exciter is now on. There's a bit more highs in there. Do we need that? Again, this is all taste and for what you use it. I, f for my taste, I don't need anything. Oral exciter off. Now we turn on the big bottom. Big bottom is on. I'm still at the same distance. I didn't change anything. It just has a bit more bass frequency. If you need it, go for it. So I've recorded my stuff. You heard it uh, while I was doing it. And I think it sounds really good. There's a blue light in there that's on the whole time when it's connected to USB. So you know that it's on. It's fine. It doesn't bug me. It's not very bright. Um, it doesn't need other external power, just this USB and that's it. It doesn't have to be USB 3, USB 2 is fine, it's not a lot of data. It sounds really good and I think for the price it's a really good voice over microphone and that's exactly what I needed and it's extremely easy, connected and done. I love it. <laughs> Maybe you want to subscribe to the channel so you can see more tests of stuff that I'm doing. I will also be testing here GoPro Hero 13 and the DJI Action 5 Pro. I won't keep any of them, <laughs> but I bought them to test out if it's good for my workflow, but it wasn't. I will send them back, um, but there will be a video about them as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.